good thing about basketball is you get to play right away, usually. So after uh, Saturday's performance, we're kind of looking forward to playing right away again on Tuesday, see if we can't fix it. I think our guys understand our energy's got to be better. Uh, playing it less than max effort isn't getting it done for us. We got to play harder. We got be more locked into scouting reports. I think our, you know, our defense, if our defense is where it needs to be, our offense can feed off it. Obviously, our offense has been struggling here lately, but I think guys are missing shots because they're too worried about making shots, not worried enough about playing hard, making effort plays, getting stops. I think if we got stops, we get out in transition and playing the flow a little bit more, and guys just lose themselves in the flow of the game. They'd be a little better. So that's where we're looking to get back to. You know, obviously Vanderbilt's not an easy team to get back on the right path against. They're they're tough. They don't quit. We had them down 23 at their place. They came back, made a really tight game late. You know, we we've got to be better against them than we were last time, and we've got to be a lot better than we were on Saturday. But I think our guys understand that the efforts got to get better. I thought we've had two pretty good practices these last two days. Hey, coach. Um, just curious about you know, how this team has handled this loss after such a long win streak? And is it different than maybe how other teams have handled it in the past? Yeah, I mean, they they know what they've got to fix. They talked about what they've got to fix. I think um, this is a deal where we didn't play like we know we're capable of playing and this isn't who we know ourselves to be. So let's get back to being who we want to be who we think we are, who we've proven to be in the past. And I think, uh, you know, no reason to panic. I mean, it's basketball, there's 31 games. They shot well, but if we don't change things, things aren't going to change. You, we have to play harder. So I think they're going to respond well. I mean, we've had, you know, the UConn game play right away, like like almost no time in between. The Gonzaga one, when we didn't, I thought this game was similar to Gonzaga where we just didn't play hard enough. Like, and the other team's offense really got going because we let them get going. I thought we responded pretty well in that game after that loss. So I think our guys will respond well and play a lot harder uh, moving forward. I know you don't want to lose by 24 points, but was this something that you didn't hate that it happened to kind of mentally reset this team before, you know, conference play where it gets. Yeah, you know what? Uh, we've been trending the wrong direction for a couple of weeks now, in my opinion. I um, think we got away with some teams missing open shots. We didn't get away with that against Oklahoma. Like, if you left them open, they're making shots. I mean, they shot better from three than we did from the free throw line. So, yeah, it, it's one of those deals where I think we maybe played poorly and got away with it before that just because teams miss shots against us or, you know, Sometimes miss free throws, whatever. This is a game. They, they, Oklahoma was locked in, ready to go. They needed to win bad. They were weren't in the uh, bracket, according to anybody. Kind of halfway through conference play, they needed to get a signature win, and they they went out and got themselves a signature win. So, we, on the other hand, I didn't feel like we played with any kind of sense of urgency. So yeah, I mean, if, if you're not going to play with a sense of urgency and you're not going to play hard, you need to lose the game. Like. The point needs to be made. You can't get away with doing this. So uh, we lost by a significant margin, and we needed a wake-up call. You're talking a little bit about the wake-up call and the response. Just what was practice like today? Was it a little bit more intense than normal, or kind of how did it go today? Yeah, it was a lot more intense. I mean, we had two teams that got after it. You know, some guys coming off the bench, I think, were playing extremely hard, trying to reestablish themselves like they deserve some minutes and based on practice they do so you know I we told them after the work after practice like if like we don't we don't have four minutes for guys to get warmed up like we've got plenty of guys that, that want to play and are ready and showing that they're going to play hard like if we're not going to play hard you're, just, you're not going to stay in the game period like there's no warm-up time to start to play hard like yeah as soon as you get in the game you got to play hard as soon as the ball's tipped Got to play hard, but yeah, practice was definitely intense. And even yesterday, you know, we hadn't been going live the day after the game. We went live for some of it. We didn't go long, but we did go live and thought some guys played played a lot harder last night too. 
Yeah, Rylan mentioned post game that he, they maybe didn't listen enough to you guys warning that that could happen. Um, do you get the sense they're listening better now? That they kind of understand uh, the ramifications of of their actions that way. Yeah, I I think so. I think it's unfortunate sometimes you have to take a loss to really get a wake up call. It'd be nice if you could learn after a win, and I, I was hoping that because we didn't play well against Mississippi State. I mean, to start the first half, you know, we had to come from behind large margin in that game. I was think, thinking we'd be mature enough to learn after a win, but uh, obviously we weren't. So the loss happened. Now hopefully we uh, we learn because we're a really good team when we play hard. But when we don't play hard and we don't shut other teams down, I mean, our, our defense has been our calling card. We're not playing hard. Your defense isn't very good. So, I, yeah, we, we – I think I think the wake up call was received. We had Brandon in here earlier, and he got a lot of questions about how teams have started to defend him differently. But for him individually, over the first two thirds of the season, have you seen him progress and evolve his own game? Yeah, I think he understands what he can do when he's not scoring. Like he can still impact the game in a lot of ways. His defense, with his length and athleticism and IQ, he can be a great defender. We can get out in the break more when we're getting stops. You know, if they're denying him the ball, you know, we can turn him into a, a screener and get his teammates downhill, at which point is the guy playing him is going to have to loosen up at some point. We can get him to get other guys freed up to shoot. You know, he's got to learn how to come off screens a little better sometimes, like set his man up. I think he's – I mean, he's a high IQ guy that's used to scoring the ball that, you know, early in the season, if he wasn't scoring it, you could tell he's getting frustrated. I think now, as long as he's playing well, playing hard, and our team's doing well, he's he he doesn't get that frustrated. He just continuing to you know give take what the defense gives him. And sometimes, look, I mean, the the more people you get on the floor, the harder harder it is to score. So sometimes it's him taking his guy out of the play and us playing four and forward, no help because you put him in the spot where the help should be coming from and they're not going to help off him. So your bigs get rollers. You know, at that point, I mean, it's college basketball. Like, the other team at some point is going to quit giving up layups and stuff where – so this guy's going to loosen up and then we can get him free a little bit. I mean, you saw it against Arkansas. He was zero for zero in the first half. They did a great job. He didn't get frustrated and he kind of had that run there when we broke it open late in the game where and he was big in that run. So I, I don't think you can – completely keep him from touching the ball for 40 minutes very well, especially with how fast we play and how much we get in transition. So he's, he's matured and that he understands he can impact the game a lot, lot more ways than just scoring a basketball. Yeah, you mentioned you think this has been kind of a two-week period where your team's not been playing well. So what are the keys to kind of hitting the reset button, getting back to you know playing like one of the best teams in the country? Effort starts with our effort. It's got to be a max effort on every play. Starts with losing yourself in the game, not being concerned with whether you make or miss shots. To be a lot more concerned with how hard you're playing, how blue collar you are. How, are we shutting the other team down? You know, because because if you look, it's not like turnovers have been a big issue. We we've gotten those pretty much squared away. But I think just losing yourself in the game, playing hard again, not assuming anything, and then we got to get our attacking aggressive. On the offensive end, like we've got some guys playing passive, in my opinion, because I think they're too worried about making missing shots, turning it over. Like we got to play aggressive. Like we got to get our edge back on both sides of the ball. Next two opponents, Vanderbilt, Bell, Charles, you've played them before. What goes into a game plan for a team in terms of okay, we're going to carry this over from the last game versus we need to reassess how they perform since we've last played them? Yeah, I mean, thought that the Mississippi State game one. First game two, they made more improvements than we did. So Vanderbilt, game one, game two, I'd like to see us be the team to make better adjustments, more improvements than Vandy. And I think a lot of that just has to do with – I mean, Van, Vandy's a tough, physical, hard nose. They take after their head coach. I mean, you watch Stack play, like he, he didn't back down from anybody. His teams don't back down from anybody either. Like Malora, Malora Brown's one of the most – tough physical centers in the league. I know Robbins is out. He I mean they got him playing hard. I mean these they got a lot of hard playing guys. So 
it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough game for us. They're, they're, they never go away. You go back to our last two games with them. We've had large leads that we've let get away from us. I mean, last game we're up 23 with about 12 to go, and they cut it to a very tight game late. Same thing happened at their place last year. Same thing happened in the SEC tournament. We were up big, and they came all the way back and beat us by double digits. So, that no matter what the score is, they're never going to quit playing, and we we got we got to keep playing hard. Like we can't. A, we can't assume we're going to get a lead because if we don't play hard, they're going to jump on us. B, if we do get a lead, we got to continue to play hard like it got us there. So I'd like to see improvements in that from game one to game two, you know, every time we play a team for the second time. Has there been any reference to the 2021 team and kind of how this is a very similar situation, losing at Oklahoma in the SEC Big 12 Challenge, and then how that team was able to finish strong? Has that been something you've been talking about with this team? Yeah, uh, in our team meeting yesterday, Quinterly brought that up because he was on that team, which was a you know, great point to bring up because we didn't get blown out at Oklahoma, but we did lose at Oklahoma. We th thought we went through a little stretch there where we didn't play as good a basketball as we could. We took a, a loss in the Big 12 Challenge, which didn't affect the SEC play, and then kind of bounced back in SEC play. So, so Javon brought that up with the team, you know. But we'll, but we got to get back to. It's not just going to happen because that's the way it happens. Like that team in 21 made it happen. Like yeah, we took the loss, guys regrouped. We got to play harder. We got to change things. Like things don't change unless you make them change. So, but that that was definitely brought up by Javon, who's, who was on that team, who's also on this team. Uh, big picture, just looking back at how this team has grown since August, maybe what's the biggest thing that you've noticed that maybe a general fan wouldn't see? Our, our defense is, when we're playing hard, our defense is more connected, better. We understand it. I think we, we've improved dramatically on the defensive end. I think overall, the group's got a lot more experience. They can, you know, weather some storms. You know, we, you go back to August, it was, I mean, we blew out all those teams on the foreign trip. So can, can we fight through in, in a university? We didn't really have any adversity in August. So I think we've shown we can. We've had adversity within a game, being down 15 to Houston fought through it, you know, we've got some adversity right now that we've got to face and we just took a big loss, largest loss since we've been here. You know, can we bounce back and get our identity back? So I think I know we can, you know, remains to be seen whether we will, but I think we've learned that. You know, and, the, and, and it's hard to tell how tight-knit the group is when things are going well. In August, it looked like we had great chemistry. I think everybody in the country feels like they have great chemistry in August. Go on a foreign trip, you win all three games by large margins. There's Everybody's playing minutes. You know, what's your chemistry look like after you lose by 24, after guys aren't playing as many minutes? And It's a lot easier to have great chemistry when you're winning because you know, you're not going to question the coaches that much when we won. It, you know, we lose, I should be playing more. If I had a Played more, we you know maybe we don't lose like, but I think this team hasn't done that. They've stayed together pretty well. So I think through adversity, through being tested, we see that we're actually we do have really good chemistry. To be honest with you.